Hello, I'm Paul, Head of Geography at Beedale School here in Hampshire. The reason I'm making this video is so that I can explain a bit about the climate breakdown scheme of work that I've developed over the last few months. Uh, with the... the reason I decided to uh, make this scheme of work was because I was reflecting on the way that I was teaching climate change and actually I thought I'd been using the same resources and the same approach and with the Extinction Rebellion actions in London and the refreshing of the approach and, and the reflecting on climate change as a global issue, particularly in terms of the uh, recent IPCC report, it made me think I needed to be far more radical in the way that I was approaching this in lessons. So. Um, including the work of Ed Hawkins and the warming stripes here, um, reading lots of work from Mark Maslin and Simon Lewis and lots of other academics, um, as well as uh, reading this book called Don't Even Think About It by George Marshall, which kind of reflects on the, um, the psychology and the way that our brain works in terms of why maybe we're not being as effective as we uh, should be in terms of responding to climate change. And then lots of Mike Berners-Lee's books. So Mike Berners-Lee did this one, How Bad Are Bananas? Reflecting on um, the carbon and environmental impact of, of our daily habits and, and how we consume. Um, we've got this one about the burning question, which is all about where we source our energy. And then the, the kind of most fundamental book for this series of lessons was um, There Is No Planet B, which really reflects and gives an, an up-to-date um, summary of lots of the issues associated with climate change. Um, that's as well as kind of lots of the speeches by Greta Thunberg um, and lots of the more uh, emotive and provocative language that's being used by people like um, George Monbiot and uh, Rupert Reid as well. So putting that all together, the idea is this scheme of work is for students who maybe have already, maybe through just the media and everyday life or through science or other subjects, been introduced to climate change. So the idea is people have some sort of idea of what climate change is before they start these lessons. So the way these lessons are structured is in quite clear chunks and the idea is it's a series of 14 lessons but you might choose to pick and uh, choose, you might emphasise one element and do more than one lesson on something or you might decide to change the order of the lessons or pull some of them because it may be that you can't, you don't have a long enough sequence. The series of lessons begins with the hard facts and the science and the idea behind that is, is to say to students, look, there's very little debate in terms of the, um, the factual science and there are 98% of scientific evidence or there is 98% of scientific evidence which supports the idea that, that climate change is human induced. And so what we want to do is quickly bridge that gap and, and move away from that, move on and get students debating some of the, the more fundamental ideas. The series of lessons is based around broad societal and more philosophical questions. So these are often things that are banded around in the media about diet or energy or travel. And the idea is we're addressing these in an academic context in the classroom and providing students the opportunity to debate and clarify their ideas to then reflect and, and move on beyond the classroom. To help you make use of these resources, I've put together a scheme of work which gives you um, a broad question for each lesson. So there's a list of the activities or proposed activities which is quite detailed in terms of its explanation. You've then got links to all of the resources associated with each lesson and then a suggestion of a homework activity. What I'd like to do now is just work through each lesson by lesson and I've created a short video for each lesson to explain uh, the reasoning behind the activities and just try and give a little bit more colour to each lesson.